In this video, we will explore the smart form capabilities you can access in ArcGIS field maps. First, let's get familiar with smart forms and see what a complete form looks like by opening a map with smart forms already authored for it. Forms are created using the Field Maps web app and are typically filled out in the Field Maps mobile app. However, you can also view and fill out smart forms in Map Viewer. First, I will log in to my ArcGIS online account and open my map in Map Viewer. To view the form, I will select the Damage Assessments layer from the Layers tab and add a destroyed feature to the map. The form will then appear. In this form, there are two groups, Inspector Information and Structure Information. There is also a Topography Form Entry located between these two groups. This is the form that will be created using the Field Maps web app, and when mobile workers open this map in the Field Maps mobile app, this is the form they'll use when performing damage assessments in the field. Now, let's see how this form was created using the Field Maps web app. To navigate to the web app, I will click on the app launcher and select Field Maps. The Maps page will open, showing all of my authored web maps. Next, I'll click Configure to open my map. Now, I want to open the form builder. To do this, I will click the Content tab and then Damage Assessments under Layers. Here, you can see there is a Form tab and a Templates tab. The Templates tab is where the map's feature templates are organized. The Form tab is where I can access the Form Builder and start configuring the Smart Form. The Form Builder is composed of a Form Canvas, where the form is built, and a list of form elements and layer fields that are used to build the form. There are three different ways to start creating a smart form. The first way to create a form is by clicking Add All in the Form Builder panel. This action will add all your fields to the form canvas. The second way to create a form from the blank form canvas is by converting a pop-up configured in Map Viewer Classic. If you previously configured a form for Field Maps or ArcGIS Collector, Via the pop-up in Map Viewer Classic, you can convert that work into a smart form using this method. To do this, click the blue Convert pop-up button in the blank form canvas. The pop-up is now converted into a smart form. Selecting a field or group in the form canvas brings up the formatting information for the field or group, including the display name and description. I will change the display name for this group to Structure Information and add information to the description. The third way to create a form is by manually adding groups and fields to the canvas. I can do this by dragging and dropping a group form element onto the canvas. A group element allows me to organize similar form entries together. Selecting the group will bring up the formatting options for that group and I can change the group name to Inspector Information. Next, I can manually drag and drop fields, such as the CAL FIRE unit, into this group as well. I can also search the field list to find a field I would like to add to the form. For example, I will type collect into the search bar and drag collection date and then collector name into the form. I can also select collector name and, using the up and down arrow keys, move the collector name field above the collection date field. Clicking a field unselects it, and I can now continue configuring the form. Clicking on a field from the form panel, such as the topography field, will automatically add that field to the bottom of the form. I can drag and drop that single field to move it around the form as well. There are also other actions I can perform with the group in my form. I can delete the group and start over, collapse the group to create more space in the form, and finally, deselect the group by clicking on it again. Deselecting will allow you to continue configuring your form. In this form, I now have two groups, Inspector Information and Structure Information. 
I also have a topography field that is not in the group, but rather a separate field by itself. While configuring your form, you can also add a conditional visibility expression to a field or group. Conditional visibility allows you to show or hide fields dynamically using an expression. For example, after a wildfire event, every property in an impacted area needs to be assessed for damage. However, not every property that is inspected will be damaged. Some properties will have no damage at all. I can create a conditional visibility expression that will make sure that when a property is being inspected, the structure information group only appears on the form when the property is reported as damaged. In other words, with the conditional visibility expression added, the structure information group will not appear when a property is designated as no damage. To make this expression, I will drag the damaged field out of the structure information group and place it on top of that group. I will then select the structure information group. In the right panel, there is a section titled conditional visibility. I will click add expression to start applying conditional visibility to the structure information group using an arcade expression. The arcade editor will open and this is where you can enter an expression using the arcade expression language. At the top of the Arcade Expression Builder, I will enter a name for the expression by clicking the Edit button and typing Structure Damage. I will then click Save to save the name. In the Expression window, I will compose an expression that will return a value of true when the damage field does not equal no damage. When the expression returns a value of true, that means damage was found and the structure information group will be visible. If the structure is designated as no damage, then the structure information group will remain hidden. Next, I will test my expression using the test button. As you can see, this expression evaluates to true as desired. Finally, I will click OK to save my expression. With the expression added, you can see an icon next to the structure information group indicating that a conditional visibility expression has been applied to it. Since I have made a few edits, there is a blue dot next to the damage assessments layer that indicates changes have been made. I will click save to save all my changes. Now let's head over to the Field Maps mobile app to see how this form looks and works for mobile users. I have downloaded, opened, and signed into the Field Maps mobile app on my mobile device. I will then tap my map to open it. To access the form, I have to create a new feature by tapping the blue plus button at the bottom of the screen and tapping the destroyed feature in the damage assessments list. The form will then appear. As constructed in the web app, there are two groups in this form, inspector information and structure information. Both groups can be collapsed and expanded using the arrows next to each group name. The topography field is also on the form and located between each of these groups. I can now fill out the form and in the inspector information group, I will add my name and the date in the corresponding field spaces. I will fill out the topography field by designating the topography as flat ground. Finally, I will fill out the structure information group by setting the compliant designation to compliant. When every entry is filled out, I will submit the form to save my form edits. When the form is submitted, the read-only pop-up will appear. To find the form from here, I will scroll down, click edit, and the form will appear once again. I can now edit the form fields, such as changing the topography to slope. Once again, I will select Submit to save my form. Now, let's see the conditional visibility applications of the form. When I designate a building as having no damage, the structure information group will not appear because we applied a conditional visibility expression to this group earlier in the Field Maps web app. 
If I instead designate the building as having moderate damage, the structure information group will appear in the form. This was an introduction to smart forms and field maps, and there is so much more to learn. To learn more about field maps, visit the field maps resources page. Also, check out the configure the form and fill out forms help topics to learn more about how you can start working with and configuring smart forms in field maps. Thank you.